Hello everyone, this is Raz. Welcome back to my channel again. So in this video, I'll be uh, discussing about the commonly used charts in MS Excel and I'll be showing how to make them using uh, Microsoft Excel, okay? So the different kind of charts that I'll be dealing today are pie charts, you can see in the picture, column charts, okay, the vertical bar charts, similar to the bar charts, which are also the horizontal bar charts, scatter plots, which shows the correlation between two uh, variables, quantitative uh, variables, similarly box and whisker plots, as you can see in the picture. So I'll be showing how to make them one by one, okay? So let's start with the pie charts. So to make pie chart, you need the category variable, for example, gender. So you have 25% males and 75% females as shown in the given example. So what you can do is you can select the data and then go to insert and then go to charts and then select the pie chart from the recommended chart or even you can go to all charts and then select pie, select that particular one and then click on OK. Now you can see the pie chart is being uh, made and then you can specify the chart title. Okay. So you can write gender, you can add data labels, right click and then click on the add data label, you can increase the font size, go to home, increase the font size, you can increase the font size of the legends, here you go. So simple, you can make the pie charts. So what you have to understand is that to make a pie chart the total should be 100%, okay? So the next chart that we'll be making is column chart. So column chart can be made uh, singly. For example, you have the categorical uh, variables like gender and grade, and you have the numbers, or the frequencies. Now you can select that data, go to insert, go to charts, and then from all charts you select the column, and then click on OK. Now you can specify the chart title, gender and grades, you can add the data labels, add data label, similarly add data label, here you go, very simple, okay? So th uh, this is the column chart. Another chart is bar chart, so bar chart is uh, similar to a column chart but this is uh, in, uh, in, the, in the horizontal position, okay? So for that, you can change this chart to bar chart by clicking on change chart type or even you can uh, make a new chart okay so let's try changing this chart type select that one go to bar click on that one and click on okay boom you see the chart is uh, a little ready the, the bar chart another chart is a uh, scatter plot so you know that a scatter plot is used to compare to numeric variables for example you want to compare the experience and the income okay so if the experience is in years for example experience is in years and then the income is in US dollars so we can make the scatter plot using uh, those two variables so what you have to do is you have to select that data okay the select that data range go to insert and then go to chart type go to all chart and then click on uh, XY scatter and then select this uh, chart okay so you can see annual income and then experience and then income so now what you can do you can add the chart elements add chart elements and then access titles horizontal will be experience in years here you see and you can add the vertical axis title so vertical will be income in US dollars you can specify uh, you can rename the title if you want okay you can add the chart element as well uh, sorry add the trend line as well so go to chart element and then go to trend line and then linear or exponential trend line okay so let's let's add the trend line so in this way you can make the scatter plot using uh, Microsoft Excel. Similarly, another is box and whisker plot. So uh, this is uh, very commonly used when uh, you want to show the distribution of uh, a given data. Uh, let's say you have a, a data regarding a GRE score and you want to create the box and whisker plot. So what you do is 
you select the data first go to insert and then go to chart select all charts and click on box and whisker then select that one and then click on okay now you can see the box and whisker plot being created so you can set different colors for that one here you can see small dot on the top and there are two whiskers and there is a box okay so this dot on the top is the extreme value so if you see the data so the GRE score ranges from 280 up to 335 if you see that data closely if you observe that data closely it scores from 280 until 310 seems a little bit normal but this 335 is an outlier okay this is an extreme value which is shown, shown by that particular dot so this dot represents the extreme value you can add the data levels if you want by cl right clicking on that chart and then selecting add data levels you can see that 310 is here 280 is here okay there is a small value in the middle which is a median so 310 and 280 so 280 is the lower value 310 is the upper value so 335 is the outlier okay so this 300 this 300 is the uh, upper quartile and then this one 286 is the lower quartile so box and whisker plot gives you plenty of information like median upper quartile lower quartile uh, upper value um, and lower value as well as the extreme value so this is a visual representation of the distribution of data so it's very commonly used in data analysis okay so guys these are the most commonly used um, charts there are other plenty of charts as well which you can explore uh, but i thought that maybe um, i should deal with the most commonly used uh, that that are a pie chart column charts bar charts scatter plots and box and whisker plots so hope you like the video uh, if you uh, thought that this is really useful please share it with your colleagues and also please uh, leave your comments below to uh, give your feedback and also if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do subscribe please click on the bell icon as well to get instant notifications when i uh, upload the new video so thank you very much bye bye and see you in the next tutorial cheers